Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Z. Today we have a mind-boggling topic that's sure to leave you astounded. What if the moon, that celestial companion we gaze at every night, were to collide with Earth? Grab your spacesuits because we're diving into the hypothetical scenario of what would happen if the moon hit Earth. Before we get into the chaos that would ensue, let's understand the basics. The moon orbits the Earth at a distance of about 238,855 miles, or 384,400 kilometers. It plays a crucial role in stabilizing Earth's rotation and influences tides. But what if this dance were to take a disastrous turn? Now, let's imagine a scenario where the moon, for some cosmic reason, veers off its orbit and collides with our planet. The impact would be nothing short of catastrophic. The moon has a mass of about 7.34 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms, and the energy released upon collision would be mind-boggling. To put it into perspective, the energy released in this collision would be equivalent to countless nuclear explosions. The sheer force would send shockwaves rippling through the Earth, causing unimaginable destruction. The magnitude of this impact is hard to fathom, but let's break it down further. One immediate effect would be the alteration of Earth's atmosphere. The collision would send debris and dust into the air, creating a thick cloud that would block sunlight. This scenario, known as a nuclear winter, could drastically affect temperatures, leading to a global cooling effect. The consequences for life as we know it would be dire. One of the moon's key roles is influencing tides through its gravitational pull. Without the moon, the absence of this gravitational force would lead to irregular tidal patterns. Massive tidal waves, far beyond anything we've ever witnessed, would sweep across coastlines, submerging vast areas and causing unparalleled flooding. The moon also helps stabilize Earth's axial tilt. Without this stabilizing force, our planet's tilt could become more erratic. This would result in extreme seasonal variations, with some regions experiencing more intense summers or winters. The delicate balance that allows life to flourish on Earth would be disrupted. As we delve deeper into this hypothetical disaster, it's essential to acknowledge the potential for mass extinction events. The catastrophic changes in climate, combined with the immediate impact and aftermath, would likely lead to the extinction of many species, including possibly our own. The aftermath of a moon-Earth collision wouldn't end with the initial chaos. The reshaping of Earth's surface, changes in atmospheric composition, and the lingering effects of the collision would have long-lasting repercussions. It could take millions of years for the planet to stabilize, and even then, it might never fully recover. While this scenario may seem like the plot of a doomsday movie, it's crucial to remember that it's purely hypothetical. The moon is a vital part of our planetary system, and the likelihood of such an event is astronomically low. However, exploring these hypotheticals helps us appreciate the delicate balance that sustains life on Earth. And there you have it, folks. The unimaginable consequences of the moon colliding with Earth. It's a reminder of the interconnectedness of celestial bodies and the delicate dance that allows life to thrive on our blue planet. Everything began with a small alteration in our world. The moon appeared to be getting bigger and brighter at first, but no one seemed to notice. Beaches were inundated with water due to the moon's influence on global tides. It wasn't a disaster, though, a lot of fish approached the shoreline, and people discovered enormous squid, anglerfish, and other marine life, despite the fact that these animals typically inhabit the murky depths near the shore. Every day, stranger and newer things occur. In winter, birds no longer went southward, instead, they collected in large flocks and circled aimlessly around cities. Their ability to navigate in the natural world was aided by the moon, but now they were unable to determine which way to fly. Ship captains discovered that compasses were suddenly unstable in the infinite waters of the world's oceans, with arrows pointing in various directions due to the shift in the Earth's magnetic poles. For reasons that were still unclear, people saw that the moon had begun to approach Earth. The magnetic field, 
the behavior of all living things, and the environment all changed as a result of the moon's gravitational pull on our planet. Ecosystems around the world were being destroyed by the current climate, which was hot in the coldest regions and rainy in the driest places. Wolves were crazy because of the moan, according to people who lived close to woodlands, and they were often howling. The natural satellite of Earth rose in size and brightened the night considerably. Nothing significant had occurred despite these changes, so people didn't fear since they didn't want to think the end was near. The moon then reached a turning point one day. Someone shoved you as you were strolling along the street and enjoying the music. That guy may have arrived late for work. As you continued, a girl who was passing by struck your shoulder, apologized, and quickly turned away. Her eyes showed fear, and you saw it. You heard sirens and screaming as you removed your headphones and looked ahead to see people running towards you. There were hundreds of seagulls filling the skies, and people were running away from their cars. A peculiar murmur that sounded like water suddenly surfaced among the commotion. How is it feasible for this to happen? You were kilometers from the coast, in the heart of the metropolis. You realized there was no time to think as a massive tsunami was sweeping through the streets and directly toward you. You dashed into a structure and made your way to the 10th story. From that point on, you had to watch as the water flooded the city, carrying with it trees, automobiles, and buildings. There were sharks and other fish in the water, and people were taking cover on rooftops and in buildings. The whole city was falling apart at a rapid pace. You discovered that floods were happening all over the world when you discovered that the TV in the building where you were sheltering worked. Large-scale tsunamis that could have reached the height of a 30-story structure engulfed coastal cities. Numerous communities vanished from the face of the planet. Severe floods were only the beginning, as the moon was too near Earth. As the moon circled the planet, several places experienced natural disasters. One side was inundated by the ocean, and a few hours later, water began to recede from the streets to the coast on the other side. By day's end, the seas might once again reach the metropolis. Hold on, it felt like the end of the day was approaching. Despite the fact that it was just 3 p.m., you noticed that the sky had become darker. The day grew longer because of the moon's alteration of Earth's rotational speed. The moon illuminated our world brightly, taking up nearly the whole sky. It was so close that you could still see the enormous lunar craters, even in spots where the sun shone. Unusual weather patterns resulted from the moon's passing veil covering the sun. Night fell, as you saw, and droplets of mud and volcanic ash began to fall from the sky. Without gas masks, breathing proved difficult for some people. The unstable atmospheric pressure resulted in severe migraines and painful joints for certain people. But there was no time to consider one's own well-being. It was up to humanity to figure out how to avoid the collision that appeared unavoidable. The collision of the moon with Earth would bring about a new gravitational order. Continents might split into a hundred smaller ones or combine into one enormous landmass. The collision's energy has the potential to burn through all of the atmosphere's oxygen, making the planet uninhabitable for life. Deep earthquakes made it senseless to even hide underground. Individuals made the decision to spend their final moments with their families and loved ones. Now that it was at the same distance as the International Space Station, the moon was drawing closer. Due to the waves and tsunamis slamming down, the moon filled the sky, throwing shadows over many cities. Billions of gallons of water evaporated as a result of a collision between the ocean and millions of tons of lava. Massive cumulus clouds formed as the moisture and ash combined in the air and overflowed the land. A curious thing happened to the moon as you came to terms with the planet's total devastation. It developed enormous fissures and gradually started to split into two sections. The two parts fell apart completely, crumbling into hundreds of big pieces. The Earth was reduced to a mass of enormous space pebbles and lacked any natural satellites. The planet had been rescued by the Roche limit. The moon would not strike us, the throng applauded. Millions of pieces of the moon broke off and formed a circle around our planet. 
Earth now had the appearance of Saturn, encircled by a moonstone belt. Massive portions obliterated everything in their path. The loss of all satellites and space junk resulted in humanity losing its ability to communicate and navigate. Maps on paper would once again need to be used. Our planet's orbit had previously been held at a specific angle by the moon, but the axis was now slanted differently. As one hemisphere moved toward the sun, the other fell into shadow. The equator may be covered in ice, while the North Pole and the Arctic may become scorching deserts. Summer and winter might last for many years. Some of the moon's debris dropped on Earth as it circled the Earth. Massive craters and city destruction were caused by lunar meteor showers. Life on Earth was severely destroyed as a result of all these catastrophes, and it would take hundreds of thousands of years for it to adjust to the new environment. If you enjoyed this journey into the hypothetical, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-expanding content. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up.